Welcome to HECA 2 exam practice test. Our topic today is chemistry. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. What is the name of the device that separates gaseous ions by their mass to charge ratio? A mass spectrometer. B interferometer. C magnetometer. D capacitance meter. The correct answer is a mass spectrometer. Explanation. A mass spectrometer separates gaseous ions according to their mass to charge ratio. This machine is used to distinguish the various elements in a piece of matter. An interferometer measures the wavelength of light by comparing the interference phenomena of two waves, an experimental wave and a reference wave. A magnetometer measures the direction and magnitude of a magnetic field. Finally, a capacitance meter measures the capacitance of a capacitor. Some sophisticated capacitance meters may also measure inductance, leakage, and equivalent series resistance. Number 2. Which material has the smallest specific heat? A. Water. B. Wood. C. Aluminum. D. Glass. The correct answer is C. Aluminum. Explanation. Of the given materials, aluminum has the smallest specific heat. The specific heat of a substance is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of the substance by 1 degree Celsius. In some cases, specific heat is expressed as a ratio of the heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of a substance by 1 degree Celsius to the heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water by 1 degree Celsius. Number 3. What is the name for a reaction in which electrons are transferred from one atom to another? A. Combustion reaction. B. Synthesis reaction. C. Redox reaction. D. Double displacement reaction. The correct answer is C. Redox reaction. Explanation. In a redox reaction, also known as an oxidation reduction reaction, electrons are transferred from one atom to another. A redox reaction changes the oxidation numbers of the atoms. In a combustion reaction, one material combines with an oxidizer to form a product and generate heat. In a synthesis reaction, multiple chemicals are combined to create a more complex product. In a double displacement reaction, two chemical compounds trade bonds or ions and create two different compounds. Other common chemical reactions you may need to know for the HESI exam are the acid-base reaction, analysis reaction, single displacement reaction, isomerization reaction, and hydrolysis reaction. Number 4. What are van der Waals forces? A. The weak forces of attraction between two molecules. B. The strong forces of attraction between two molecules. C. Hydrogen bonds. D. Conjugal bonds. The correct answer is A. The weak forces of attraction between two molecules. Explanation. Van der Waals forces are the weak forces of attraction between two molecules. The van der Waals force is considered to be any of the attractive or repulsive forces between electrons that are not related to electrostatic interaction or covalent bonds. Compared to other chemical bonds, the strength of van der Waals forces is small. However, these forces have a great effect on a substance's solubility and other characteristics. The HESI exam may require you to demonstrate knowledge of all the major chemical forces. Number 5. Which of the following gases effuses the fastest? A. Chlorine. B. Oxygen. C. Nitrogen. D. Hydrogen. The correct answer is D. Hydrogen. Explanation. Of the given gases, hydrogen effuses the fastest. It has the smallest molecular weight, and it is therefore capable of moving faster than the molecules represented by the other answer choices. In chemistry, effusion is defined as the flow of a gas through a small opening. The rate of effusion of a substance is inversely proportional to the square root of the density of the substance. This means that the less dense a substance is, the faster it will effuse. This agrees with the common observation that thick smoke tends to linger in the same form for a longer period than thin smoke or steam. Number 6. Which of the following elements is not involved in many hydrogen bonds? A. Fluorine. B. Carbon. C. Oxygen. D. Nitrogen.
The correct answer is B. Carbon. Explanation. Carbon is not involved in many hydrogen bonds. A hydrogen bond occurs when an atom of hydrogen that has a covalent bond with an electronegative atom forms a bond with a third atom. The original covalent bond involving hydrogen gives away protons and the third element receives them. One of the reasons that fluorine, oxygen, and nitrogen are frequently part of a hydrogen bond is that they have a strong electronegativity and are therefore able to form more durable bonds. Chlorine is another element frequently involved in hydrogen bonds. Number 7. What is the mass, in grams, of 0.350 moles copper? A. 12.5 grams. B. 14.6 grams. C. 18.5 grams. D. 22.2 grams. The correct answer is D. 22.2 grams. Explanation. The mass of 0.350 moles copper is 22.2 grams. This problem requires the use of the periodic table. There you will see that the molecular mass of copper is approximately 63.5. Take this figure and multiply it by the amount of copper given by the question, 0.350 moles. The resulting figure is 22.225, which, rounded to the nearest tenth, is 22.2 grams. In order to succeed on the HESI exam, you will need to be able to perform these simple calculations of mass. Number 8. How many d orbitals are there in a d subshell? A5, B7, C9, D11. The answer is A5. Explanation. There are 5 d orbitals in a d subshell or sublevel. Each of these orbitals can hold 2 electrons, so sublevel d is capable of holding 10 electrons. The S subshell has one orbital, the P subshell has three orbitals, the D subshell has five orbitals, and the F subshell has seven orbitals. In chemistry, the electron configuration of an atom is expressed in the following form, using helium as an example, one second two. In this notation, the one indicates that the electrons are found in the first energy level of the atom, the S indicates that the electrons are in a spherical orbit, and the superscript two indicates that there are two total electrons in the first energy level subshell. Number 9. What is the name for the number of protons in an atom? A. Atomic identity. B. Atomic mass. C. Atomic weight. D. Atomic number. The correct answer is D. Atomic number. Explanation. The number of protons in an atom is the atomic number. Protons are the fundamental positive unit of an atom. They are located in the nucleus. In a neutral atom, an atom with neither positive nor negative charge, the number of protons in the nucleus is equal to the number of electrons orbiting the nucleus. When it needs to be expressed, atomic number is written as a subscript in front of the element symbol, for example in 13 aluminum. Atomic mass, meanwhile, is the average mass of the various isotopes of a given element. Atomic identity and atomic weight are not concepts in chemistry. Number 10. Which of the following elements is an alkali metal? A. Magnesium. B. Rubidium. C. Hydrogen. D. Chlorine. The correct answer is B. Rubidium. Explanation. Rubidium is an alkali metal. The alkali metals are located in group 1 of the periodic table. These soft substances melt at a low temperature and are typically white in color. The alkali metals are lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. Rubidium, cesium, and francium are not commonly encountered in the natural world. The alkali metals are highly reactive, meaning that they easily engage in chemical reactions when combined with other elements. These metals have a low density and tend to react violently with water. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.